Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. I live in uh, Mountain Village, Colorado. If you want to find out anything about me, go to MySpace where I have a page. This here deals with these Nigerian um, banking scams that you get in your email a lot. It's absolutely hilarious sometimes the, the tactics they use to, to entice you to uh, enter them. I especially like the ones where um, I'm, being, I'm being notified by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I've been in, uh, uh, notified by Homeland Security claiming that they've checked my email and I'm entitled to $100,000 or something like that and they check it out and it's all legal, it's fine and things like that, you know. Yeah, like the FBI is going to contact me through, through my junk email. Like the Homeland Security is going to contact me through my junk email. If the FBI is going to contact me or Homeland Security, I'm sure they'd do it in person or by phone, not, not by some junk email. Absolutely hilarious what these, what these people do. And what was even more hilarious was back, I think it was around 2002, right? Or it wasn't too long after 9-11. Uh, I get an email from the father of the nuclear bomb of Pakistan. On the very day he was arrested, I get an email from him telling me that it wasn't his fault that the secrets got out and, and he hasn't sold these secrets to Iran or North Korea. And, and because of, of his arrest, he needs somehow to uh, forward me about, what was it, a million something dollars or something like that and uh, looking for someone if I would take it. And then he just tried to explain to me all about the bad things that was being done to him. All the while that I was getting the email, he was on TV live being arrested. And the email had just come in. So, I mean, even if it had come, come to day four, it's, it's a fraud, of course. It's, it, it's all a fraud. It's just absolutely hilarious what these people come up with. But, unfortunately, there are people in America who buy into this garbage. They've been tricked. You know, it's, you know it's, if it's, nobody's going to give you free money like that. And, of course, I always like the one where they say that I'm dying and um, I need uh, some money. I need to afford you some money. I'm going to uh, let you inherit it. I've, just, I've chosen you. Well, that's nice, but who are you? And, of course, you can't really reach them, and of course. Um, it's just absolutely hilarious what these people come up with. But, it's a, but what they're doing is a crime. But here is a little tip I'll give you that most people seem to ignore. And this is how to know it's a scam, even though it should be obvious that it's a scam. Anytime they're offering you free money, uh, it's a scam. Notice at the very beginning how they address you. Dear friend. Well, if they're going to give you some money, I think they would know your name. Don't you, wouldn't you say so? Why would they say, dear friend? My name's Dale Wilhite. Why don't they say, well, Mr. Wilhite? They don't even know my name. And so that's the first clue that, you, that it's a scam, even though, again, the rest of it, what you're getting is, should be very noticeable that it's a scam. So that's something to keep to keep in mind and pay attention to. That that's what that is, and one that really ticks me off are the ones who uh, talk about uh, God will bless you, Jesus will bless you, and and you will be rewarded in heaven. Well, I don't want to be them on Judgment Day because they're playing with fire for sure. You do not invoke God's name in something in a in a scam, in something that evil. Uh, hope hope the, for the best for them, but. They're in, they're in a lot of trouble. You don't do that. So anyway, that's just something I want to do uh, mention. The main message here is that when it comes to these scams, notice the first thing that they write. Dear friend. And of course, they'll sometimes say other things, but they don't even know your name. That right there should be a clue to everybody that it's a scam. Simple as that. Anyway, thank you for your time, and I hope this little bit of information enlightened you just a little bit. Bye.